Back to talk about more BGSU football recruits. Wide receivers coach Eric Campbell is with us, also past game coordinator for BGSU. We're going to talk about three wide receivers that are now Falcons. Coach, let's start with Sean Thigpen. Comes from right down the road at Springfield, Ohio, not the one next to Toledo, <laughs> the one down in Clark County, a powerhouse program that just played for a state championship. Uh, he's 6'4", 170. Uh, tell me what you like about Sean Thigpen coming out of Springfield. Well, I'm excited about him because he's the only high school recruit we have taken us in this class. And uh, he's right down the road, right here in Dayton, in the area. And so uh, what I like about him is size. He's a, another big, tall, 6'4", type receiver that can really go up and uh, has a vertical uh, wingspan. And that really can help us in the pass game downfield. And then especially in the red zone, he's a type of guy that will be pretty productive for us. Well, 6'4", 170 already, as yes. still in high school. And playing at Springfield High School and going all the way to the state championship game, you could see even more uh, taking on high-level competition. I'm sure that was also attractive. Yeah, so we also had him in camp. I had him here in the 707 camp here, and he really showed out there in uh, that part. And uh, also uh, early in May recruiting, we saw him uh, do a combine at his high school workout. And really was impressive there. Uh, as for a big guy, he could bend his knees and get low, play low, and get in out of his cuts and th things like that. And, you know, of course, his hands, he had great hands. So he's a very exciting player coming out of high school. So hopefully uh, he could help us in that, that height department. Always nice to have those guys come to your camp, get that firsthand look at them, and then have it pay off of with actually signing them. That's great. Now let's talk about a couple of uh, transfers. Let's start with... Kevin Tate goes by Bo. He's a junior college guy. He's a California kid, uh, 6'2", 190, so pretty good size. Uh, obviously an experienced player. Give experienced me your thoughts. Player. I'm excited about him because uh, what we saw film right away, he saw his hands. He had great hands. Uh, he's able to catch the ball, uh, has a little quickness in, with him. Uh, getting in and out of his breaks makes you very excited, and uh, hopefully he has opportunity to get separation from the DBs. Uh, coming from the junior college level, sometimes it's a little harder to project, but uh, do you look for, was he in a similar system to what you're running, or does that even really matter? No, uh, that, it doesn't matter about what type of system is in. Can he run and catch the ball like I like to see? Um, you know, has solid speed, not necessarily, necessarily a blazer, but he has solid speed, but he has the quickness. Uh, that's what I liked about him, his quickness, getting in and out of his cuts, and also, like I said, his ability to catch the ball. His catch rate is unbelievable. Uh, see how, many, how he explodes up for the balls and even behind them, things like that. Uh, another wide receiver coming to Bowling Green, actually, uh, like Bo, is already here. He's enrolled, and he comes from a familiar place, oh, Alabama yes. A&M. Oh, he yes. was Odu Hilaire's teammate. His name is Abdul Fatai Ibrahim. He was a FCS All-American, so uh, that's enough of a resume. But give me his skill set at 6'1", well, 190. He's a kid who uh, I've been knowing about. Uh, he's like yeah, he's OJ's uh, teammate. Mm -hmm. And so I saw him a lot earlier, and then I had the opportunity to go down and see him in person and spend a little time with him. You know, quite a young man, a uh, very high character guy, a very smart young man. Uh, I was picking up the system right away. Uh, didn't have any problems with that, picking up the system. Uh, like I said, ability to, to make plays and, uh, like I said, go on top of you. He's a physical guy. He's biggest, probably the thickest receiver we have in the program. So uh, he could be physical, too, in the block run game, too. So. I'm very excited about him and see what how his uh, upside was going to be. Clearly having uh, Odu here already, I assume, helped in the process of talking him into coming oh, to Bowling Green. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> I mean, OJ is a great recruiter, too. So, um, But having him here and have, being familiar with someone, it really helped him because he's also from Florida. He's a Florida kid growing up and uh, able to come out from Alabama. Well, he's already here for the first day of spring practice. Uh, day on which it snowed. So that's how it goes in Bowling Green and get these Florida guys acclimated right away. Coach Eric Campbell talking with us about the latest BGSU wide receiver recruits. Coach, we appreciate you taking time for us. Thank you.